good morning in today's session we'll try to discuss about joining heterogeneous sources means joining two sources which are belong to two different storage types For example, I'm having a table called as an SRC underscore items with the fields like a category ID, item number, item name, quantity, and RPU rate per unit. This source is consisting four records belong to the SQL Server. I'm I'm having one file called as an categories dot txt. it is a text file this file is consisting two columns category id and category name which is consisting four records now i want to implement a join between these two so sql server is having a table is consisting five columns and my second source categories.txt is having two columns among these two sources my common column is category id so we'll try to implement join between these two dissimilar storage types i'm creating a new package and i'll rename this package and i'm placing a data flow task double click on data flow task as we need two sources so we'll try to place two oldb uh, one is oldb source another is flat file source oldb source double click in new source connection okay data access mode is table or view and table is src underscore item that is my source table columns i'm trying to pick it up category id item number item name quantity and rate per unit click on okay button this is my first source and what is the second source it is a file so i'll drag flat file source into this package double click on flat file source new provide the connection name you can give any name click on browse select the file for example categories.txt open and i'm saying it is a delimited file and my row delimiter is carries written with the line feed cr and lf and my file is consisting header as an first row so from second row onwards i should treat that as a data for that reason here place check mark for column names in the first data row then go to the columns column delimiter is comma here the columns are separated with the help of comma so i'm specifying that here as a comma next advanced by default all the fields from the flat file source will get in the form of non unicode by default character data non unicode so you change the data as per your requirement so i'm going with advanced category id it is showing me as dt underscore str but actually it is a numeric so i'll convert this as an a numeric next category name that is string itself but maybe the length i'll make it as an 15 15 or maybe a 10th depending on your requirement columns these are the columns you're on category and category name if a particular column doesn't have any data means do you want to convert that as zero length value or do you want to treat it as null if you want to treat it as a null then you place check mark for 
return null values from the source as null values in data flow. But right now I am not selecting it. Click on OK. So there are two sources are there. Now whenever you want to implement join with the help of merge join means definitely the data should be given in the form of sorted inputs. So I am placing one sorted transformation link validb source to sort double click on the sort and I am sorting the data based on category id category id click on ok same way I am trying to take one more sort I am linking flat file source to sort double click on this and here also I'm sorting based on the category ID. Click on OK. Now when you work in a full outer join or maybe if you work as a right outer joins or something like that, some the common column field value sometimes it appears, sometimes it may not appear based on what type of join you are implementing. To work up that problem, what I'll do means I'll try to take the category id from both sources in the merge join so link your sorted transformation to merge join as a left input so other thing will be treated as a right input double click on this and here i am choosing category id item number item name quantity rate per unit so this is belonging to a table called as uh, src underscore items table but along with that I am choosing category id and category name also from right side object so category id is present for two times so it creates a confusion now which field is taken from which source so to identify that so here I will say category id underscore items object from that particular place it is coming up and this CID is coming from category object to identify that I took these values click on OK now my destination requires amount also I need amount also means I should calculate to calculate this I'll use a derived column transformation. So I'm linking merge join to derived column. Double click on this. I'm adding a column called as an amount. What is that value means? It is nothing but quantity into rate per unit. But along with that here category id is present for two times if you work as an inner join both value will be the same but whenever you work as a left outer join or full outer join only in one call any one of these two columns will have data and other thing will be null so if it is null i want to ignore but if it is a not null i want to capture that value to the next level so to represent that I am writing a formula here dc underscore category id and I am writing some formula here by using a conditional operator. First boolean expression is nothing but I will use a function called as an is null of first field category id. I am checking whether category id what you got from items table is it a null or not if it is a null I want to return the category id what I got from categories table but if the condition is failure then I want to return the value which is got from items table itself so some condition I wrote here so what is the condition I wrote means this is the I am checking what is the category id I am getting from the items table if it is a null I am returning the category id belonging to the category object if it is condition is failure 
then I am returning the category ID which you got from items table itself. Then click on OK. Then take this data to your destination. So destination is OLEDB destination. Link this derived column to OLEDB destination. Double click. Choose the destination connection. Table or view. And the table is TGT underscore items. TGT underscore items. Mappings. Here category ID and category name is not mapped because the names may be different. So we will try to map it explicitly. So here what is the category ID I got from derived column or oh, that value I want to map it. Next category name that is the C name. Next item number, item name, quantity, rate point, amount and everything is mapped in the proper manner. Click on OK. Save this and execute this. Right now my first source is having four records. Second source is having four records, but if observe match records are only first three records. Radio belong to electronics, gun loader belong to games, wet grinder belong to home appliances. For soap related item, we doesn't have any category. Same way for education category, we doesn't have any item related records. So we'll try to execute this. We're working in the form of inner join, only match records. Say start. Execution is done. We got four sources, four records from left source, four sources from right source, but only three records came into the destination. So execute the query. It's showing like this. Radio belonging to electronics, gun loader belong to games, wet grinder belong to home appliances. So there is an 1004 item called as an soap that is doesn't came. As well as 104 category is there by saying education that record also doesn't got it because those are unmatched records. So here with the help of merge join now we are able to implement join between two different type of source objects. One is OLDB and another is flat file source but doesn't mean that it supports only these two storage types or only these two type of uh, source objects. They may be AW.NET source, may be a raw source, may be an XML source, may be Excel file source, it may be anything, doesn't matter. So we can implement join in this particular format. Thank you.